everybody for reading today. I'm going to read a story to you called Chameleon's Colors. And the essential question is, how do animals' colors help them in their habitat? How do their colors help them? Do they help them blend in? Do they help them be a better predator? Do they help them hide from other creatures? We're going to find out. I know you have some great ideas. So, Chameleon's Colors by Crisado Tashiro. Chameleon was always changing colors. No matter where he went, his skin would change from brown to green, from green to yellow, all to match his surroundings. Sometimes even his best friends walked right by without seeing him. They thought he was just a piece of wood or a leaf or a flower. Can you see the chameleon? There he is, right there. One day, Hippo almost stepped on him. Oops, said Hippo, I didn't see you. I know, said Chameleon, no one ever sees me. I'm sick of changing colors all the time. I think it would be fun to change colors, said Hippo. You do? Chameleon was surprised. There's Chameleon right there. Uh-oh. Day after day, I'm just the same old muddy gray, Hippo explained. I wish I could be a different color for a change. Well, if that is what you really want, said Chameleon. He grabbed some pink blossoms and stomped on them. Then he splashed the juice all over Hippo. That's fabulous, said Hippo. Now I'm pink like you. Suddenly, Chameleon had a great idea. That night, he stayed up late collecting flowers and fruit and leaves. He squeezed out all their juices and mixed them in little coconut shells. He couldn't wait for morning. Uh, what is he going to do with all of that? Hmm. Chameleon's colors, bear or flea, what color do you want to be? Chameleon sang as loudly as he could. The wind carried his voice far and wide, and soon the animals began to arrive. There's Chameleon right there. Here come all the creatures. Whoa! What would you like, said Chameleon? Stripes, polka dots, checks, flowers, anything is possible. What a great idea, said the animals, and they lined up to be painted. Oh my goodness, look at that lion. Look at all those creatures. I've never seen a polka dotted elephant or pink one for that matter. They all went home colorful and happy. Chameleon was happy too. He had become the most popular animal of all. What do you think? Do you think the animals are going to like being all those crazy colors? Look, there's even a snake right there. Look at that crazy little monkey. Whoa. But the next day, Lion started to complain. I'm hungry, he said, but now I can't tell the difference between a zebra and a hippo. How am I supposed to recognize my dinner? Snake agreed. I can't hide in the grass anymore. You can see my red skin from a mile away. Right there. And if Snake can't hide in the grass, What's going to happen to him? 
Soon, all the animals were complaining. Life was much easier with our old colors. Now everything is messed up. It's all your fault, Chameleon. Change us back. Oh no, look at they're going after Chameleon. Well, anybody can anybody figure out how they're gonna get their colors changed back? Mm, I bet you have a good idea. The angry animals chased Chameleon to the edge of a cliff. Trembling, Chameleon closed his eyes, turned the color of the rocks, and waited. There he is, right there. Suddenly, a clap of thunder roared. Huge sheets of rain poured down, washing the colors off the animals. Chameleon breathed a sigh of relief. Oh, thank goodness. When the sun came out again, everything was back to normal. The stripes were on the zebras instead of the lion. The spots were on the giraffes instead of the elephants. And the chameleon was back to normal, too. And the chameleon was back to normal, too, changing from brown to green, from green to yellow, all to match his surroundings. Can you find the chameleon? He's right there. Now, I would like you, you can just draw on the back of your calendar packet, draw a creature, but give him some crazy colors, like one that maybe you saw in the book, or maybe you have an idea of your own. But really, it just can be anything you want it to be. It can just be crazy. But I think the animals were a lot happier when they went back to their normal selves, don't you? Okay, we're going to go do our paper. And you can do it with me if you want to. Or if you don't want to, you don't have to. You can turn me off and do it by yourself. We have this week's new packet. Okay, and this week's packet says May 18th to the 22nd. That's what we put on. And our first page is the setting of a story. Where does this story take place? Well, the story I just read to you takes place in the jungle. Let's see where this story takes place. Read the story with me. It's called The Goat. The little goat can eat. The little goat can eat green grass. The big goat can eat too. They eat grass in the green field. Now down here at the bottom, we have to circle the setting of the story. So we're looking for where the story takes place. Where do you think this story takes place? Well, only one of these pictures is a place. The other two pictures are the characters in the story. All right, that's it for reading. See you in a few to do some math. Bye-bye.